everyone, I'm Allie. And I'm Bridget. And we are going to do for this episode of Better Beater, finding your comfort in BDS. <laughs> so a lot of times I did a Better Beater episode on kind of hunching over and doing some exercises, but there's also little steps that you can take to eliminate some of those stresses, whether it be on your eyes or your back or just uh, kind of the uh, wrists and finding that comfort in beating. So the first thing that I'm having fun with actually is number one, if you can't see- One of the easiest. One of the easiest things, go to the dollar store and get yourself a pair of readers. You can get them snazzy, you can get them nice, you can do a fashion show as you're at the the, uh, dollar store trying on all different glasses. And also get them in a variety of strength. Right. Like you may even find it easier to take your glasses off or on and depending on the readers, how. Yeah, yeah, and use the readers. I put them on. I'm like, man, I found a great thing and I should be with those. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid them so that way I don't need them earlier in life. But don't be ashamed to pick up a pair of readers and put them on. You can even make a little beaded chain for them to hang on so that way you don't lose them. Or make something really obnoxious so you don't use them. And put like <laughs> fluorescent tape coming out the sides. We used to provide them for classes, again, mm-hmm. for that comfort level. Because you don't want to really get your head kind of squinting and your eyes squinting, which is going to lead to headaches. Right. The other thing in addition to to glasses. What have you got for us, Bridget? I have one of the daylights, which, there we go. There's a daylight for you. <laughs> um, but what's cool about this one, so you can turn it on, and the light's right here, but it also has a magnifying glass there. So you can kind of adjust it and look through. <laughs> oh, forget and the readers. Down Whoa, there. you actually beat higher up. So you're beating mm-hmm. closer to you. And then there's, in case you're really blind, there's like a little section which there's Bridget a pointed tiny, out. tiny circle right here, which I was thinking as I was just looking at it, I was like, oh, this would really help me thread oh, my needle. <laughs> Threading that needle. Bridget's yeah. going to keep this now and get that for her Twitch ones. But having the proper lighting is a huge issue when it comes to beating because, again, you don't want to squint all the time because right. it really is going to drive you nuts and have a headache when you're working on it. Those are two really, really simple solutions for working and kind of finding that comfort even just in the being able to see. Right. All right, so the next one that we have is the bead on it board or um, a nice bumpered yes. surface. I feel like that on my hair. <laughs> and what's nice about this, you'll see it does have that kind of thick and it's padded. So what that does is it'll help your wrist. So when you're beating, it'll have that kind of um, support there. Think when you're typing and you have that little um, gel mat. Yeah, thing. it's very similar to that. So it helps your wrist not get overly worked or overly tired and just gives it that nice little rest there. Yeah, so that way you're not just kind of flexing and yeah. doing your hand there. <laughs> so the bead on it board is great. And if you haven't heard, we actually just acquired a uh, bead on it board. So they are currently in production and we will have them available soon too if you have been waiting. So another thing in addition to the bead on it board is that if you're not working on an actual beading surface, say you want to bead with a buddy. Bridget and I are going on a trip. I don't know where we're going, but if we want to go on a trip, you want to bead on a train, on a plane, on an automobile. Outside in the park. Outside in the park. <laughs> You've got your good bright lighting there. You can take something as easy as a plastic bin. Raise your working surface by flipping it over and then sticking your bead mat on top of it. So when you're working, it's higher up and you're not as arched over. If you do find yourself to arch over, you're having a little bit of lower back pain. What do you have, Bridget? I have a lumbar support pillow here, which you can really use anything. This is just a piece of foam. An actual lumbar pillow, you can use a throw pillow, um, something small that you can just fit right on the back, lower back of your chair. And that really helps you sit up better. It gives you the support in that lower back. So, you know, you don't have that little pain. If you are hunching over, it kind of straightens up your back, which is really nice. And figure out what bin you like and what height. This Mm -hmm. is the same to add to a desk. So say I want to bead at a desk and the height's not quite right. I find myself constantly arching over, constantly rolling my shoulders. Bring up your working surface and that will help you bring your shoulders back. Mm -hmm. You've got that bead bumper and you'll be able to go stick Bridget's lumbar pillow behind your back and you can bead for hours. (laughs) So one of the last inexpensive things that you can do is look around at a resale shop. A lot of them have office supply stores that you can go to. It can be expensive, but you definitely can get them super inexpensively. Check out yard sales, check out Craigslist. It is a movable chair. So the chair can raise different heights and different levels. 
Go ahead, Bridget. Okay. Ready? So I'm at the very top now. Okay. Ooh. Oh, right in there. <laughs> you can move down a little bit further. Down. A little bit further. And that and way then, you can change that beating surface. Stand up a little bit and bring it back up and if you need to. And going up top again. And this movable chair, honestly, is a great, great tool because, again, that way you're not forcing yourself to mm -hmm. hunch over. You're pulling yourself back. And you can pick what working surface you want to. If you really want a fun investment, actually get a movable desk, too. And you yeah. can raise and lower the desk. I actually really like standing to bead. And again, sitting in that plastic bin on top of my table, sticking it on top of my island at my house, and working on top of that fun surface. So these are all helpful hints to help you kind of along the process that you don't want to be uncomfortable when you bead. And they're really, really simple, easy solutions. And there's alternative if you don't want to spend the money on the chair that goes up and down, although it's pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> pretty fun to use. And the same thing with if you don't want to invest in a good light, which I would say do it anyway. Dollar store glasses, extra beading light, extra comforts that really are pretty affordable. Yes, and for like the lumbar support, you don't need that specific lumbar pillow. Just use your throw pillow that you have on your couch or something like that. And Steal it from your cat. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and put that lumbar pillow behind your back, and you're good to go. With all the Better Beater episodes, it really is to make you a better beater, to have you have a better experience when you're making jewelry. And remember to click that little bell that is below Bridget. That way you can stay online and in contact with us, get regular updates from us here at Potomac Beads. Hopefully this makes you a little bit of a better beater, or at least a little bit more comfortable beater. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you later.